What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Got another movie reaction for you. Oompa loompa do. Copyright. Doom. Copyright. Copyright. <laughs> Wonka, the 2023 version. I absolutely adore the original Wonka movie. There's a so special good. place in my heart for that. So good. The music. Gene Wilder all the best. day. Absolute best. That movie is so good. I thought Charlie and the Chocolate Factory was okay with Johnny Depp, but yeah. like the original is like the S tier top, like Absolutely. amazing movie. It's on, you're putting it on. I am very curious to see how this movie is gonna play out with a young version of Wonka. And yeah, just a big fan of the music, the performances, the mm -hmm. characters, all of it. The snozberries taste like snozberries. <laughs> yes. All good. All of it. Mm -hmm. If you guys didn't know, we do watch movies every single week on the channel right here. Look for those notifications and come join us when we're watching a movie live because we have a blast. We sure do. It's a really good time. We laugh. A lot. We have fun. Good times. Nikki's dad jokes are usually pretty epic. Thank you so much. Awesome time. And also, if you're into the whole Patreon thing, we do post full reactions to that. Also, links to that all down below. But here we go. The new Wonka. You ready? Yes. Let's go. It is time to And the city I've pinned seven years of hopes on Lies just over the horizon Landor! So based off of the promotional material and seeing him in the posters, this is a young Wonka. I've poured everything I've got into my chocolate Now it's time to show the world my recipe it's cute already. At last, the gallery gourmet. Oh, Slugworth. Here's my destiny. I just need to unlock it. <laughs> and a hat. I was like, what is... himself. I love it. I love it. <laughs> like, what is this dude doing? <laughs> Dreaming. No daydreaming. Oh. <laughs> There's a penalty. Wow. That's no fun. I know, right? Anyone? If they tell him and work hard, or so they say. Could you spare a sovereign for a place to sleep, love? Of course. Here, take all you need. Thank you. I... <gasps> oh. oh. You ding dong. Who does that? Is that a callback, though, to when Charlie found it in the gutter? <laughs> Look at you remembering shit. Dude, I love that movie. It's how he won the golden ticket. I know. Oh, you're just keeping candles in your hat? That's fun. <laughs> I'm gonna freeze his butt off out there. Mm. Just hot chocolate in the hat. I love it. It's Amazing. very Mary Poppins-esque. Oh, look at that puppy. Don't. Hey, shoot. No, 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 puppy. Stop. Sit. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about tittles. 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 I love tittles. You're not planning on sleeping there, are you, son? No, it's just for a night. By this time tomorrow, I plan to have made my fortune. By this time tomorrow, you'll be frozen solid. Oh, don't be ridiculous. <gasps> <laughs> Perhaps it is a little cold for camping. But unfortunately, I'm not in a position to pay for a room, sir. Oh. Sorry to oh, his hear that. teeth. I know someone who might be able to help you out. Get your filthy balls off my front door, you mighty man. If that show flicks you, rare up my gin. Oh, I have something better than gin, Mrs. Scrubbit. A guest. Oh, well, why didn't you say? <laughs> Welcome to Scrub It and Bleachers, guest house and laundry. Thank you, Mrs. Scrub It. You and your husband have been so kind to me. Husbands? Him? <laughs> oh, you'd love that, wouldn't you? No. <laughs> you see, I'm something of a magician, inventor, and chocolate maker. 
and first thing tomorrow at the Gallery Gourmet. I plan to unveil my most astonishing creation. Prepare to be amazed as I present to you... Tape up. <laughs> Don't you worry, Mr. Wonka, I can see you're a man of great ingenuity. And we've got just the thing for you, the entrepreneurial package. Now the room is one sovereign a night, but you don't have to pay till six tomorrow. This is very sus. Read the small print. What? Thank you, Noodle, that'll do. What'd you say? Who's that in? <laughs> Read the small print and they're... <gasps> seem to be. Look at that, like a regular Wonka contract. Is that where he got his inspiration? You don't want to listen to Noodle, Mr. Wonka. She's damaged. Orphan syndrome. Orphan syndrome? She was dropped down the laundry chute with a bab. Aww. These are just your standard T's and C's, but you're welcome to take a look if you want. I love that there's already a bunch of, like, callbacks to the original. Oh, heads up. Well, Bettle seems to be in order. Billy? Uh-huh. <laughs> Welcome to Scrubbies. Now they own you. <laughs> Come for a night, stay forever. Very similar. <laughs> what do you think of him as Wonka so far? Not terrible. I mean, that's one of those, that's a tough role. It's a wrong. You know what you did, you brat. Stop no. worrying. <laughs> oh. You Rude. ever interfere in my business again and you'll be in this coop all week. Do you understand? You have something. She's delightful. Uh, Miss Scrub it, your um, toothbrush would be great. You're getting a one star review. First time, last time, staying here. <laughs> <laughs> Aw, the cane that stands up on its own. Here we go, Mama. Ladies and gentlemen of the Gallery Gourmet, my name is Willy Wonka, and I have come to show you a marvelous morsel. An unbeatable, eatable, the likes of which this world has never seen. So quiet up and listen down. Nope, scratch that, reverse it. The hover jump. In a jungle near Mumbai, there's a little hoverfly. These microscopic things like chocolate more than me. When it hatches from its shell, it gives a happy yell. Woohoo! The chocolate will levitate and float most gracefully. <laughs> There's chocolate, but only one because makes your eyes pop out the chocolate. This is adorable. Miss Bonbon? Yes, Mr. Slugworth. Call the police. Oh. Oh. Rude. <laughs> Call the police. <laughs> Mr. Slugworth, sir. Mr. Ficklegroove and Mr. Prodnose. What an honor. Ever since I was a little boy. That is quite a handshake. Let's people know. I mean business. <sighs> now, come along. Let's try one of these so-called hover trucks. Ooh. <laughs> There's marshmallow harvested from the mallow marshes of Peru and caramel salted mm -hmm. with the bittersweet tears of the Russian cloud. Oh my. Cherry. Cherry picked by the pick of the cherry pickers from the Imperial Gardens in Japan. Well, of all the chocolate I have ever tasted, this is without doubt the absolute 100% worst. <laughs> An endorsement for Mr. S Wait, the worst? A good chocolate should be simple, plain, uncomplicated. This with all its bells and whistles. 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 They're just jelly. Mm-hmm. We're gonna hate what happens next. Dude, that'd be so awesome. It's broken out of its cocoon. It's flapping its wings. Like what was the drink also called? a fizzy lifting drink. Um, I also don't want a bug inside me, so that's 
In about oh. 20 minutes, it'll get tired and exit through your rear. All right. Okay. I No, I don't want any bugs <laughs> through my butt. Thanks so much. A lot of other things come through the butt. I think it's fine. <laughs> Who's for a hover truck? I mean, this is fun. <laughs> He's so, like, cute and wholesome. All right, folks. Nothing to see here. Just a small group of people defying the laws of gravity. What was that? <laughs> Afraid we've had some complaints about you, sir. That you're disrupting the trade of other businesses. We're aggressively obliged to move you on and to confiscate your earnings. No! Don't worry, it's going to a good cause. <laughs> what the hell? Could you at least leave me a sovereign? I need to pay for my room. Here. Thank you. Oh, poor Waka. Stop. Well, I'm afraid we do have to settle up now. Well, thankfully the room's taken care of. I believe we said a sovereign. For the room, yes, but you have incurred a few extras. Of course. There was that glass of gin you had on arrival, and if I remember rightly, you warmed your cockles by the fire. I did indeed, Mrs. Scrubbit. Nickel and diamond aim was probably all in the contract. Did you happen to use the mini bar? There's a mini bar? Mini bars, so. Might have, briefly. Oh. Add in your mattress high, your linen lease, and your pillow penalty. Feels like an airline. And fares and sovereigns. It's all in the small print, dear. You're gonna have to work it off in the wash house, ain't ya? Uh oh. Tittles! I thought we were friends! Oh no, Veruca. They got all of you too, did they? We each of us found ourselves in need of a cheap place to stay and neglected to read the small print. Endless regret. Sounds like my third marriage. Hey, oh, like this guy. First you pick up the apparel and you stick it in a barrel scrub scrub. Then you take it to the mangle and you turn a giant handle scrub scrub. <laughs> this movie's fun so far. Yep. Scrub scrub. And if you don't agree... C Clause 5. Section 7A. Paragraph 22. Part D. Which says... Trump, Trump. <laughs> I love how over the top all the characters are. It's great. Exactly what I would expect. I told you to read the small print. There's no problem with that. You can't read. I focus my studies almost exclusively on chocolate. Everything else, I've relied on the kindness of strangers. And look who that's got you. I look like the glass ceiling that they blasted through that he was staring out to. How much do you owe them? 10,000. Count yourself lucky. I owe 30. Took me in out of the goodness of their hearts and charged me for the privilege. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we are not going to be eating any slops. What are you doing? I'm making chocolate, of course. How do you like it? Dark, white, nutty, absolutely insane. What? Never had any. You've never, you never had chocolate? No. What? You've never had chocolate? Still, no. <laughs> I like her a lot. I have a selection of the world's finest ingredients right here in my travel factory. This is adorable. Silver lining made of condensed thunderclouds and liquid sunlight. Oh my God, I love this. Helps you see that faint ray of hope beyond the shadow of despair. Just what we need, wouldn't you say? Did you always want to make chocolate? Back when I was your age, I wanted to be a magician. My mom was a cook. Wow, look at that. In a perfect little world of our own. Well, according to the other Willy Wonka movie, his dad was a dentist. I don't know if that's canon or not. We didn't have a lot of money. But each week she brought home one cocoa bean. And by the time my birthday came around, there was enough to make a single bar of chocolate. But it wasn't just any old chocolate. This has to be the best chocolate in the world. They say that the very best comes from a place called the Gallery Gourmet. It has can't be any better than yours, Mama. <laughs> I want some chocolate now. I do know a little secret that even those fancy pants don't. What is it? I tell you. When you're older. We should go, Emma, to the Gallery Gourmet. And start a shop. Yeah, with our name above the door and everything. And that's a wonderful dream. Is that all it is? 
Just a dream. Every good thing in this world started with a dream. This is really cute. And when you do share chocolate with the world, I'll be right there beside you. Promise? Do better than that. I think you promise. What was the secret? I never found out. Soon after, she fell sick. Before I knew it, all I had left was her bar of chocolate. That's why I'm here, Noodle. So I can feel the same way I did back then, eating chocolate with her. Aww. I know it sounds crazy, but I always hoped she'd somehow keep that promise. She might even tell me her secret. This is adorable. He's so wholesome right now. Oh my God, cute. Here. I love the music. I think he's perfect for this. Wish she hadn't done that. You don't like it? No, I like it. It's just now each day I don't have chocolate will be a little harder. Aw. Mrs. Scrub is like a hawk. Keeps her beady eye on everything that comes in and out of the wash house except. The laundry? Oh. What is it? No, it's nothing. Huh. That's not nothing. That's the silver line. It's giving you an idea. So the one time she dropped a guard was when this aristocrat came to the laundry. He was only asking for directions, but she was all over him like a rash. It was disgusting. <laughs> all we have to do is find an aristocrat and slip out while she's distracted. Where are we going to find an aristocrat? <laughs> this is adorable. Huh. A double huh. Do you have a pencil and paper? Uh-huh. I got an idea. I feel like he's got a lot of the mannerisms down yeah. from the original, especially when she was eating the chocolate. Good evening, Chief. They're all waiting. Tell me, Chief, how would you like to earn a few more of those? I am listening. We think that Mr. Wonka might require a little more than simply moving on. He's good. Too good. And what's more, he only charges a sovereign of chocolate, so anyone can afford them. Even the... The poor. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> Could you please refrain from mentioning that demographic in my presence? Oh my he doesn't God. like it when people say poor. <laughs> Stupid. If he attempts to sell chocolate in this town again, he's liable to meet with a little accident in which he dies. Oh my God. I'm an officer of the law. I can't just go around roughing up your competition. Well now, Chief. I can see that you're a man of integrity. Have you got a sweet tooth? I do. Well, we've got everything you need. <laughs> 700 boxes. <whistles> no. Oh, oh geez. my God. <laughs> Wretched chocolates. Eighteen hundred boxes. Oh, deal. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was. <laughs> I was collecting laundry from Professor Monocle the other day. He's got sketches of no woman all over his wall. So, and this one looked rather familiar. Oh, blow me! That looks exactly like Mr. Bleacher. I'm sorry. Did you just she just say blow me? <laughs> Oh my legs. Oh my. That's quite a leader hosen you've got there. Yeah. The sounds of the stretch. Oh, <laughs> what are you doing all the way over there? Keeping my knees warm. Well, why don't you come over here and have a glass of gin? Why don't you come over here where it's all hot? <laughs> wow. Ow! Oh my lord. May I present to you a brand new contraption of my creation? Scrub, scrub. With Willy Wonka's wild and wonderful wishy washy Wonka Walker, please don't make me say that again. Tittles gets <laughs> to run, and I can have fun. Just popping out for a bit. I'll be back before roll call. Scrub, scrub. <laughs> Wait till you see how much chocolate I made last night. We saw this, and we're gonna be. Uh oh. Not again. Where are the chocolates? I don't know how to tell you this, Noodle, but they've been stolen. Who by? Little orange man. 
What? He's my nemesis, Barrier High. Comes in the dead of the night and he steals all my chocolate. One day I shall catch him. An Oompa Loompa? Got a hoodlum Oompa Loompa on his hands. <laughs> we can make more chocolate. Only problem is I'm all out of milk. Milk? A, that is stealing. And C, Willy Wonka does not use any old cow's milk. For this particular creation, I require the milk of a giraffe. There's one at the zoo. Bingo! But A, the zoo is not that way. Right. And B, they're not gonna let you just walk in there and milk it. So I've been very lucky the little orange man didn't find this. What is it? From Zoo Management, recognition of your years of service. Well, thank you very much. So what is it really? It's called a big night out. Single chocolate that perfectly mimics a night on the town. Outer layer is champagne truffle. The next is white wine, followed by red. Now we are talking. <laughs> what the hell? Can I have one of those? Layer of whiskey fudge, he'll get emotional. Oh, oh my god. Hello, Quinny. It's Basil. I just wanted to say I've always loved you. <laughs> Finally, some old pork from the back of the cupboard. This is funny. Ah, giraffe. What? Uh, no. <laughs> Sir? <laughs> You're nearly eaten by a tiger? Nearly is the key word there, Noodle. I've nearly been eaten by a lot of things. And none of them got more than a nibble. <laughs> okay, I learned how to read. <laughs> Beautiful. Good evening. Abigail. Abigail. Whoa! Easy now. <laughs> Have you done this before? Once in Africa. Magnificent beast. Was she wild? Wild? She was absolutely furious. You sure can't be silly, Willie. I suppose that's true, Noodle. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing rhymes in Noodle. Where'd you get that name, anyway? This. It's all I have for my real parents. And for Noodle. Or Nora. Or Nina. Or nothing at all. When I was a kid, oh, I, I always hoped this. I'd find my parents. And they'd live in this beautiful old building full of books. My mom, she'd be waiting there for me at the door. And I'd run into her arms. She'd give me this big hug like she'd never let me go. Then I realized it was just a stupid dream. I love that they have pure imagination just playing mm -hmm. quietly under certain moments. Pet a giraffe on the chin. Never let down your guard. Let them into your heart for a moment. I'm not used to this wholesomeness. I'm waiting for something bad to happen. <laughs> right. Oh my God, how fun. for you, pal. Whoa! Do not sell chocolate in this town! You got it? Not really, I'm afraid. I have water in my ears. Sell chocolate in this town again, you're gonna get more than a bonk on the head. I don't have a bonk on the head. What is with me today? Can you give me just a second? <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> I'm a chocolate maker. The best in the world. The plan is to sell chocolate and pay off Mrs. Scrubbit. At least that was the plan until... Uh, let me guess, you had a little run-in with the chief of police. I was Slugworth's accountant. His regular bookkeeper was off sick and did a straightforward job until I realized there were two sets of books. One for the authorities. 
Slugworth, Fickle Gruber, and Prodnose have been in cahoots for years. A sort of chocolate cartel. A chocolate cartel. <laughs> I love it even more now. There's thousands of gallons of chocolate down there, and the cartel use it to bribe, blackmail, and bludgeon the competition. I love it. You can't get a shop without selling chocolate, and you can't sell chocolate without a shop. I don't know how we're going to sell any chocolate. Every time the police show up, you'd have to vanish into thin air. Like a magician. Yeah, but it's one thing when you're on stage. You have ropes and pulleys and trap doors. There's none of those on the street. There are trap doors all over the city. They're called storm drains. If you're recruiting, I'd do anything to get out of here. I can talk like I'm underwater. I love him. I love him. Mrs. Scrubbit catches you trying to escape, you'll all get six months in the coop. I don't care how good his chocolates are. When do we start? <laughs> exactly. Will you marry me? You're a lovely man, but I'm looking for someone to sweep me off my feet. Could that be you? No. <laughs> Chronic lack of self-confidence. I'd best be off. Sorry to have wasted your time. Uh, taxi! Uh, Monsieur, can I help you? Oh, wait. Uh, do you have anything for a broken heart? So the text His hair is so nice. <laughs> I love the curls. This should lift the gloom. My giraffe milk macaroon. Just eat a few of these and you'll be feeling ten feet tall. There's chocolate and there's chocolate. <laughs> Only one kiss makes your confidence skyrocket. I've never had chocolate like this. I nice. freaking love it. This is so cute. I love this. Make sure they're all frisked. Have you ever had chocolate like this? I've never had chocolate like this. <laughs> I mean, good chocolate will do that to you. Is he gaining weight the entire time? Have you ever had chocolate like this? I love it. Where did he go? This is so fun. Look, yeah, look, he's gained so much weight. That's so <laughs> funny. <laughs> so that's how you're doing it. I want a man on every storm drain in the city. This is the priority. Okay. It's all that chocolate. <laughs> Pretty sure I've gained about 150 pounds in the last two weeks. <laughs> uh oh. Oh. It's a little baloompa. So he really is having one steal all his stuff. Oh my god. It's the Oompa Loompa song. It's very quiet and very subtle. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Got him! <laughs> Let me out of here. I demand to be released. Incredible. Is that Hugh Grant? <laughs> what? Good evening. You're the funny little man who's been following me. I will have you know that I am a perfectly respectable size for an Oompa Loompa. In fact, in Loompa Land, I am regarded as something of a whopper. They call me Lofty. Now let me out of here. You have absolutely no right to go around in bottling innocent strangers. Hold on, you've been stealing from me for years. Well, you've started it. You stole our cocoa beans. You mean that you don't even remember? Remember what? The day you destroyed my life. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Wow. Allow me to refresh your memory in the form of a song so ruinously catchy that it may never leave your mind. <laughs> oh my I god, the whistle! <laughs> I've got a tragic tale for you. 
Oh my god, this is fantastic! Listen to me. Oh, oh my. <laughs> Why don't you say something? Well, perhaps I drifted off. <laughs> when I awoke, they sent me away. Oh. <laughs> ah, thank you. Would you be so very kind as to pass me that um, miniature frying pan? Oh, God. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I say that is quite a beast. There we are. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and the foot. Good day, son. That's my last jar. I said good day. Isn't that what Wonka yelled at mm -hmm. Charlie? Good day, sir. Oh, this is cute. May need a little work. Do you like it? Noodles, just as I always imagined. Scratch things. Better than I imagined. This is gonna be the best chocolate shop the world has ever seen. You won't be scrub scrubbing much longer, Noodle. We'll all be free. As free as flamingos! Here we go, Mama. Ladies and gentlemen, greetings to you all and welcome to Wonka's. Close your eyes and count to ten. Open them. Chocolate bushes, chocolate trees, chocolate flowers, and chocolate bees. Oh, my God, cute. <laughs> A world of your own. Oh, my God, that is so fun. That is so cool. Here is the child that you left behind. Augustus, don't fall in. Right. <laughs> A place to go when you're... A literal cherry blossom tree. That you could eat. Let's go strolling. Oh, oh my god. Cotton candy clouds. Oh yeah. Yes, with the teacups that you bite. I love this. There's so many callbacks. I love this. Who's so that giant. giant pretzel. I love this. <laughs> Is his hair turned blue? Uh-oh. Mr. Wonka? Yes? That's impossible. Yeti sweat? Yeti sweat. The most powerful hair potion in the world. I didn't put it in there. Nobody eat the flowers! Uh, oh, why not? Oh, shit. My daughter took one bite and just look at her! There's nothing wrong with the chocolate milk, isn't there? It appears that the chocolates have been poisoned! Poison? I want my money back. I want revenge! Oh, no. Please tell me this is just a dream. This is what you get for mustaching my daughter. Mustaching my daughter? Oh, Jesus! Shit. And that, I believe, is the end of Honko's chocolate shop. That's not... That's... No, this is like fake. This is like a nightmare, right? Nope. <laughs> Unfortunate. It's okay, Willie. We can rebuild. We can start again. There's no point, Noodle. It didn't work. She promised she would be here. Stupid dream. Don't say that, Willie. Please, don't ever do- Come on, Noodle. I think Mr. Wonka needs to be alone. <laughs> Every good thing in this world started with a dream. So you hold on to yours. And when you do share chocolate with the world, I'll be right there beside you. Aww. Terrible shame what happened here. Take it you're responsible? Oh, no. We may have in 
encouraged Mrs. Scrubbit to enhance your creation? Jerks. So why have you come? We've come to offer you a deal. You could change her life. Change all their lives. What would I have to do? Leave town. Never make chocolate again. Rude. That ain't happening. Sorry, Noodle. I hope you'll forgive me one day. Checking out our. You gonna save the day, bud? I love, I love the Oompa Loompa. Please don't tell me you're going to go through with this ridiculous deal. I have to, for Noodle. I promised her a better life. You should stand up to those bullies. Give them the old one, two. Where Slugworth shook my hand. His ring left a mark. See? It's an A. So what? His name is Arthur Slugworth. It's probably a family ring. Yes, but Noodle has one just like it. I gotta get back. Captain! One cop! Captain! Oh, what? Oh, dear. Good day to you. <laughs> oh, my God. They tried to kill him? Honestly. What the hell? Tried to take him out. <laughs> How rude. Your friend, Mr. Wonka, done a deal with Mr. Slugworth. Gave up on his dream to settle your account. Mr. Crunch. Present. You're free to go. Bell! Hey. You ain't gotta tell me twice. <laughs> Chuckles work. You've been a terrible audience. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> Noodle. Biggest part of the lot. But this isn't to pay your bill. This is to keep you here. I hate hey, you! Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Look at a guy, Lord Bleachovitz. Lord Bleachovitz? You don't still think he's a lord, do you? We made it up, you stupid old hag! Yeah! Bitch. Take them dungarees off, you peasants! Oh, I love you! Aww. Hello, Noodle. Wally! Slugworth promised you a better life, but he didn't exactly keep his side apart. Oh my god, look at the ladder. All I know for certain is that you won't be safe until Slugworth is behind bars. And how exactly is that supposed to happen? You said the cartel keep a record of all their dirty deeds. In the green ledger, yes. So if we can get hold of that, we can prove that they poison our chocolate. They keep that ledger in a vault. Guarded by a corrupt cleric. How are they all up there? Honestly, honestly. <laughs> An accountant, a plumber, a telephone exchange operator, and a man who can speak underwater. Combine those talents and pull <laughs> off the speak heist. Speak underwater. The greedy beat the needy, Willie. It's the way of the world. There's one other thing I do. Change the world. Where do we start? <laughs> She's adorable. Basil Bond, employee of the week. Man, that's lovely. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Hopefully it's not like The Hangover. <laughs> I don't think they're killing Abigail in this movie. They better, there's a bridge! Tell her she might want to what? Duck! Duck! Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> it's Baron von Schmeichel Hammer's funeral today, and his widow is a bit of a pious type. <sighs> So I don't want to see anyone eating chocolate during the service. I love it. One day all we chanting. should be judged for our sins, but it's not going to be today. <laughs> this movie's so over top and silly, it's great. Judgment has come. It's a giraffe. Hello, operator. How may I direct your call? I need the zoo. It's an emergency. Hello, zoo. Are <laughs> you down, you animals? Oh my god. Yeah, I think we did lose a giraffe. Okay, geez, I'll send the guys around. Oh. oh, forgive me. I'm a sinner. 
I don't think I've ever heard him speak before. Is that yeah. weird? No, oh, I have. <laughs> like, but maybe I have not it. you. Yeah, you. Yeah. I think he's been in other things, so you probably heard him. Thanks for all your hard work, Father Julius and the Chocolate Cartel. Hmm? Have I got a sweet tooth? How? Wow, she can really move. Oh, I could have been happy, but I threw a pearl away. I will give him a call. Ah! <laughs> Aw, it's Basil. Basil, you were right. Oh my God. Those days in chemistry class, the happiest of my life. <laughs> it's a love story. Night, night. We did it now. Oh. Do you have a gun? It's got quite a bit of trouble. It's got a lot darker. You and your action. Yeah, but she's not just an urchin, is she, Mr. Slugworth? Your family. What are you talking about, Willie? You know that ring noodle? The one your parents gave you? Mr. Slugworth has one just like it. As a matter of fact, I do. That belonged to my brother. Was he my father? A hopeless romantic is what he was. Fell in love with a common little bookworm, died before they could marry, leaving me sole heir to the family fortune. But nine months later, your mother turned up on my doorstep begging me to get a doctor for her sick little new Oh boy. my God, look at that baby. Oh, she is precious. Oh. oh my God, she's so cute. Instead, you put me down a laundry chute. Rude. Terrible person. When your mother returned, I told her you had died. Oh my God. I gave her a handful of sovereigns and had her escorted from my property. Wow. You told her her baby died? How much chocolate do you have at your factory, Mr. Fickle Yeah, about 80,000 gallons. A prod now. 75. Well, I've got 150. That should be enough. For what? Death by chocolate. Oh, my. There you go for Augustus Gloop. Wonka got so many inspirations from the stuff in this movie. <laughs> what a dick. <laughs> Are the Oompa Loompas gonna save the day? Come on. Please. Even though, didn't he save them? What are we gonna do, Willie? Well, he gave them a new home. I'll think of something. Best chocolate he ever made, eh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're not gonna drown, Willie. There's a light. We'll let the chocolate lift us up, bang on the glass, and pray somebody hears us. Yeah, very fizzy lifting drinks. Oh no. Deep breath now. <gasps> you mustn't let yourself get so worked up. It's just a bit of chocolate. Correction. It was actually my chocolate. Oh! oh. <laughs> you have made a very grave error. Do pity do. There we go. We've been saved! By who? By the little orange man! Look! What? The little orange man! Thank <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my dear. god. <laughs> Car shrunk. All under control. A couple of thieves broke in, but I'm afraid they met with a little accident. In which they died. That would be me explaining the jokes. <laughs> Officer, would you kindly take a look at this? Wonka! It details every single illegal payment these men have ever made. That sounds like a case for the chief of police. Your name is written down here. Ooh, got you. Gentlemen, you're under arrest. Run. That's okay, Nick. All right. Give me one second. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Eat any of those chocolates, did you, Mr. Slugworth? Because they're hover chucks. 
Delayed action. Hey, Noodle. Uh oh. <laughs> Chocolate fountain. Everything's more colorful, I feel like. Was it there the whole time? The answer? Oh, a golden ticket. Stop. She's there. As good as you remember? Every little bit. I guess it's time. Time for what? Do you know how many people in this city are named D. Smith? 106. And luckily, you have a friend who works at the telephone exchange, and she spent the entire afternoon ringing around. <sighs> we found her. You found my mom? She works in the library. Come on, Noodle. The sound. Come with me. Oh, you're killing me. And you'll be in a world of pure imagination. Don't be shy. It's all right if you feel a little trepidation if you want to be paradise simply look at me and see if somebody survives <sighs> nothing else to Wow. I'm not going anywhere, not until you've paid your debt. Until such time as the chocolate is physically in my hat. <laughs> I will now return to my beloved Lumpenland, where the cocoa beans grow in disappointingly small numbers, and my friends look down on me. I thought they called you lofty. The truth is that I am a quarter inch below average. They call me shorty pants. Shorty pants. I'm gonna share my chocolate with the world. I'm gonna need more than a shop. I'm gonna need a factory and someone to head up the tasting department. Come with me. All right. And you'll be Where? in a world of pure imagination. It's a ruined castle. With a spin traveling in. If you want. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so fun. Ah, oh, with the little teacups. Shoes, facelift, nose job, Abifa. Big old ass in the country. You can't tell. They've gone down. We ain't done nothing. Oh, except poison all them chocolates. Uh oh. Oh, just a second, officer. 
Oh my god. Oh shit. How can we help you, officer? You two are coming with me. One last kiss, my lord. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I thought that movie was I I don't think I've smiled so much in a movie before. That's true. I was like that was fun. That was fun. It was really, really cute. It was very nostalgic. I love the music. I love the little touches here and there. Oh, there were so like, many callbacks to the together. original. Mm -hmm. So many. I thought he was really good as Wonka. I So when this movie came out and they were doing another Wonka, I was concerned because it's like, well, I guess concerned. I wasn't concerned. I wasn't sure if doing another Wonka as like a prequel. Cause you saw the pictures, you knew it was going to be a young Wonka. I wasn't sure what it was going to be like. I thought he nailed it. I thought he did too. I thought he did a great job. I did a really good job. This was so good though. Like they really like, they made it fun. They made it colorful. They made it like you really want to eat some chocolate and like all the like childhood nostalgia. And like, I feel like I could tell my kids this is Willy Wonka. Yeah, and I mean, the visuals were incredible. I thought the story was really good. And again, like you could tell that there were certain moments where he absolutely had Gene Wilder's like oh, mannerisms. It's, it's Timothy Chalamet. There you go, thank you. Um, you could tell that it was some watching of the original for sure done. Less Johnny Depp. Oh yeah. Like I like all Gene Wilder. I don't want to talk too much about that, but like I wasn't a fan of Johnny Depp's Wonka compared to Wilder's obviously, but I thought he did great in this. Mm -hmm. I thought it was really well done. Again, just it was funny, it was fun. I mean, saving pure imagination for the end in that moment where yeah, she found her mom. It. Yeah, it yeah, was really good. Like, that was a really powerful... Like, the nostalgia, like, that's where it really hit me, hearing the music. Mm -hmm. And the way they subtly kind of, like, played it in moments very quietly, it was awesome. And just, like, the Oompa Loompa song, there's just so many small things that they did to make this feel like Blanca. Mm -hmm. I, I loved it. I thought it was fantastic. I I try to go in with not a lot of expectations just because I love the original so much. Yeah. But this It's hard for me to not expect it to be like yeah. you have a lot to live up to. Of course. I mean, that original Wonka movie is so awesome. I love everything. Every time it's on, I I'll put it on and Absolutely. just watch it. It's it's fantastic. It hasn't been on for a while though. Yeah. I, I just I thought it was really well done. I thought it hit on everything that a prequel needed to in terms of that it's hard to hit the mannerisms i thought he did it yeah i, th I thought he did a really good performance Same. it definitely made you want to eat like the way they ate the chocolate yeah it was like is none of it covered at all it's just sitting open you just eat it amazing so right. unsanitary i know but we talked about i mean like i could give you that same critique with the original Willy Wonka like just stuff stepping everywhere stepping all over stuff yeah. with your shoes and that's gross and touching stuff and going swimming in the chocolate 100% but it's so fun I wonder if they're gonna do anything else with this story I would love to see something else I think it would be really interesting to see where else this goes cause obviously there's a lot of time between this and where the original movie picks up I would, Obviously. Yes. But some of the, like my favorite little callbacks in this movie, I love seeing the coin fall into the gutter. Mm -hmm. Like him opening the chocolate bar that he's been holding the whole time. That was There's from his mom with the golden in ticket there. inside. And his mom. Them almost drowning in a giant. That yeah. vault of chocolate. Yeah. Like that made it feel like where he got the idea of his giant lake of chocolate. And then like them rising to the end. To the, like, oh my, oh my God, like the fizzy drink. Like, there were so many small things. Did you have a specific moment in this movie that just caught you? Honestly, it was the Pure Imagination song in the Oompa Loompa song. But I mean, at the very end, when she sees her mama. Yeah, of course. And when he sees his mama, it's the mom stuff, you know? It gets me every time. It was, it was a definite, like, the emotion is really good. I thought it was obviously a very important aspect of this movie and the story, but... Yeah, I mean, the fact that they saved pure imagination for the end in that specific moment, I thought it was it was really strong. It was really powerful. That's 
the nostalgia just of that music in general, all the original songs. And the music, the new music was really good too. I agree. It was super catchy. I'm just going to say Scrub Scrub all day. It's just one of those things that's stuck in my head now. But I thought all the music was really good. I thought the characters were so over the top, but so well done and entertaining. Yes. Mm -hmm. I thought, again, everything that I would expect a Wonka type of movie now in this era mm -hmm. to kind of have. Yeah. So I'm really proud of Timothy Chalamet. He really did a great job. That can't be an easy role to play. And either. Noodle. Oh, Noodle, Noodle was great. Noodle was great. She was fantastic in this movie. Love her. Yeah. So I thought amazing. Very well done. Hit all the notes that I feel like Wonka needed to. But if you guys didn't know, we do watch all of these movies live with the community every single week. And we like to take some other comments and some other questions, see what they got. Mag, I love the emotional aspect behind this movie. Really brought a strong feeling out of you. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, that was definitely one of those things I was wondering how that stuff was going to play out. But the moment the first, like, very silent playing of the music was there, it was like, okay, we're in this. And then, like, the stuff started playing out. I thought the emotion was really well done. Yeah. Obviously, you started crying at the end. I didn't Close. actually cry. You were there. I was almost. Almost there. Angie 808. I agree with Nikki. Julie Andrews will forever be Mary Poppins. This was fantastic. I'm glad I stayed up to watch with you guys. Do you want more? Also, happy birthday, Steven. I do want more. I would love to see him in that role again. A Wonka 2 would be awesome. I think that would be fantastic because, again, there's a lot of time and a lot of story that could probably be told between where this ended and where the original started. I mean, we got to get all the Wonka, all the Wonkas. We got to get all the Oompa Loompas there. We got to save them from all the crazy, scary monsters they told us about. Bring yeah. them in, build the build the factory and get it going and. Maybe we even meet Charlie as a baby or some shit. I don't know. It could be oh, fun. Grandpa Joe needs to get off his find butt. Out, yeah, find out how Grandpa Joe ended up Everybody there. Everybody in that bed. Get out of bed. <laughs> get out of bed and get, get moving. Get to work. Yeah. Thank you, everyone, for always coming and showing up and watching with us. We love watching the movies with the community. It's great. I have an idea. Oh. I'm the DJ for the team. We're playing... Pure imagination mm. on the field, okay. and they're all gonna look at me like I'm crazy. They probably will, I for sure. It. I bet. So, last thoughts. What do you think? How'd you feel coming out of this movie? I'm fantastic. The perfect amount of nostalgia, creativity, imagination. Um, Is there even any point in ranking the three movies? Because no. I think it's easy. No. I think it's Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, Wonka. And Charlie and Jack, Charlie Factory. Yeah, I think that's I think that's pretty consensus, right? I would yes. have to imagine. Correct. I, I think Absolutely. that's I think that's pretty easy to rank them. I love ranking. We do it with if we do series. I, I don't I even think, think that fun. we should put Charlie and the Chocolate Factory in here. It's because it's like a different. It's definitely beast a different tone altogether. Yeah, it's, it's a whole different vibe and tone. It's just Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory and Wonka, and yeah. then you could put Charlie and Chocolate Factory over here. But still. Same type of story, same characters. I mean, so. Johnny Depp, but also you over here. I'd probably put him third, too, as my Wonka. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. In comparison to this? Yeah. yeah. He'd be third. Sorry, Johnny. So, but Johnny's still amazing. But he is. Amazing movie. Exceeded expectations. I thought it was absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. Huge smile. I felt like it was on my face the whole time. Yeah. It was fun. Kind of felt a little goofy, but it was nice. Yeah. It's exactly, it's a change up from a lot of the stuff that we've been watching. So it's yeah. pretty Horror, cool. Horror, action, drama. Yeah. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. So as always, you guys share all your thoughts. Leave your comments. We'll see you later for the next one. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.